Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the journey to CCIE with Ronnie Wong. My name is Anthony Sequeira with IT Pro TV, and I'm so glad that you're joining us here for this episode where we are going to talk books, books, and more books. Ronnie, I've got a question for you, my friend. All right, sounds good. Do you think you could pass the CCIE lab exam without ever reading a book? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. So, yeah, you don't think it'd be possible? I, I don't think so. Yeah, not, yeah. not based on the knowledge base that uh, seems actually be needed. There are a lot of things I still do not know. Yeah, uh, I, yeah. I agree with you with this caveat. Yeah. I, I, I would say that the book you would end up reading would be the Cisco documentation. Okay. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. Cause I actually know someone that did that. Right. So they didn't do a single book, but they did read all of the documentation for whatever features they, they were responsible for. So the nice thing about though, actually going to maybe like an author is that may, they may be able to provide some of the context around the exactly. subject that we're looking for. Exactly. Like, he, why I wanted to start this way was to remind everyone out there, this is like a recurring theme for us in Journey to CCIE, right? Everyone is different. That's what you have to watch out for here. That's why I don't like instructors of CCIE that say, if I ever hear you have to do this when you're studying, you know, these absolutes, it always drives me crazy because everyone is different. I could ask Ronnie just as easily, could you pass the CCIE without ever watching a video? And Ronnie might say yes, might say no. It, everybody's different. I prefer to read when I study, which is ironic because of what I do for a living. But I just... I don't like learning by video. I would prefer to read, but everybody's different. The great news is though, if you're like me, if you're a bookworm, then there are many, many books out there that you can utilize. Now, Ronnie, I know that you've been reading, you've been video watching, you've been hands-on labbing. Ronnie's taking very much my approach. I didn't tell him to, but he is. He likes that variety of different resources, and that's what I definitely loved with a, with a bias towards reading. But, Ronnie, do you have a favorite book yet that has been, you know, working you towards CCIE? Is, is there a favorite? So, so far, because there's a lot of history that I've been missing, the introduction with uh, Jeff Doyle. Dave, uh, yeah, yeah, Jeff Doyle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the TCPIP, Volume 1 and 2. The Bibles of, yeah. <laughs> yeah the, uh, I mean, we say they're Bibles because th they are so beloved in the industry, and they're big. They're, and they're authoritative. They're nobody, authoritative. Nobody gets as deep as Jeff Doyle. That nobody. guy yeah. just, <laughs> yeah, like... You know, you look at a technology and you're like, geez, I wonder why it works that way. I usually am like, I don't got time to research that. I just move on. Not Jeff. No. Jeff will dig in. So I'm with Ronnie. Uh, these books, Routing TCPIP Volumes 1 and 2, and, and look out, there's different editions. So make sure you are dealing with the very latest edition these books, they were, as far as books go, the difference maker for me. Right. I mean, no books had an impact on me like those. I devoured them. I very rarely, I don't know if you're like this, viewer, but I very rarely read a, a, a technical book, like a Cisco press book, cover to cover. That's very rare that I will go through it cover to cover because inevitably there will be entire chapters that I know and it wouldn't be a good use of my time. You know, I'm spending the, the time in those books where I do uh, need the education. Those routing TCP IP volumes one and two, I read every word and in volume one, 
twice. Mm. So they were, they were just what I needed. And let me put that into real practical terms. I couldn't get multicast. It was just, it was, I was, it was my Achilles heel. I just didn't like it, didn't understand it, didn't, and then read Jeff's like incredibly detailed multicast chapters and then met Bo Williamson, unfortunately, who's no longer with us, who we call in the Cisco space, Mr. Multicast, because he has written many great books on multicast. So then I went from, and this is what I want all of you to do, I went from not understanding and disliking a technology to hoping that I got a ton of multicast in the exam because I knew it inside out, backwards, forwards, etc. So books can make a big difference. Now, Ronnie, I'm going to embarrass myself. Let's jump on my PC right now. I've got Google ready and raring to go. I am going to try and find the recommended reading list for mm. CCIE from Cisco Systems because right. if routing TCP IP volumes one and two aren't on there, I'm calling my contact in Cisco certification and I'm going to yell at them. <laughs> All right, so let's see if I can find it. So what I'll do is a search on just... Two words, CCIE infrastructure. The very first link is the CCIE enterprise infrastructure certification and training area. And if I come in here, we are interested in passing the lab exam. So I'm going to click on that link right there. It's too bad you don't get to pass right when you click on that link. Here is the topics and you can download those in PDF format. So this isn't gonna help me. Let me go back one level there. Okay, now we're getting- Additional so, resources. Yep, so now we're getting a little bit more into where we would wanna be, I think. There's an additional resources, and here it is. So it's in this document right here called the CCIE Enterprise Infrastructure Version 1.0 learning matrix. And this is an Excel spreadsheet. And uh, on the first tab is read me first, which in keeping with IT best practices, I never read. And then <laughs> there's the learning matrix where they have links to presentations and things. This, this is really a valuable resource, isn't it? And then there's a books tab. And in this books tab, they have routing TCP IP volumes one and two, thank goodness. <laughs> and they've got a lot of other great books for you to check out in here. Uh, I would recommend that you go to the Amazon reviews on these. And I say that because some of these are going to be better than others. Yeah, Roddy's already seen a couple that he's like, eh. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. And and where you can trust the Amazon reviews here is I can tell you right now, I know I'm not trying to name drop or anything like that. It's just I know personally like 50, at least half of these authors and none of us that write for Cisco Press ever go in and manipulate Amazon ratings. I mean, we just <laughs> don't and we don't have to do it. Because when you write a Cisco press book, there are so many editors that are making sure your book isn't a total disaster that you're never going to get beaten up that badly anyways. So um, I think you can trust those reviews. I, Ronnie and I have expressed that we love routing TCP IP volumes one and two. Um, I've read some of deploying IPv6 networks. I thought that was great. I've read uh, some of the Cisco land switching. That's a classic text. I love that text. So uh, optimal routing design from Russ White is mm -hmm. like required reading in my opinion. So there are gems here, but if, if they give you like three books on MPLS and you're trying to decide, oh, which one should I use? Well, go check the ratings by all means. 
Something else that I wanted to point out, there is a book that's not on this list uh, because it's not Cisco Press, but it made all the difference in the world for me. So I would like to drop this additional book. It's IPv6. Uh, you know, I better head up to Amazon to make sure I don't butcher this. It's IPv6 uh, Theory, Protocol, and Practice, I think is the full title. And it made all the difference in the world for me. Let me type. Yeah, I got it right. I just happen to remember it. And it is in, I'm sure, a, a, you know, second or third edition by now. But it's uh, IPv6 Theory, Protocol, and Practice. I was struggling with IPv6. And this text was recommended to me by Brian McGann over at IE. And he was right. He was like, you're a big Jeff Doyle fan. Well, here, this will help you with IPv6. And, and he's absolutely right. It's a Jeff Doyle approach to this subject matter. And I loved it. So uh, I'm sure you out there in YouTube land watching this right now, you have recommendations for us on your favorite books. So guess what? We can't wait to see what those titles are. Just go ahead and enter them in the comments below. And I'm sure, you know, Ronnie and I will be forwarded those book recommendations and, and we'll check it out. And obviously we often comment back to you on YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, we're going to be back with more episodes for you of Ronnie's journey to CCIE, as well as a lot of other great content. So consider subscribing and don't forget the bell, which will give you notifications when we post con uh, content. Ronnie, anything more that you wanted to say about books, books, and more books? No, just take time. Don't rush through this, even though you want to get through the exam as quickly as you can, because nobody wants to take a long time in doing it. Don't rush through learning the material. That's yeah. right. That, that's exactly right. You know, I didn't skim routing TCPIP. Right. I mean, I read it like it was a Stephen King novel. <laughs> and he's my favorite author, right? So like I devoured it. I, I didn't want to miss a word of it. So yeah, take your time. That's great advice, Ronnie. And if you have like back problems, see if you're a Kindle person, right? See if you're an e-reader person. I am so jealous of those people because I carry around, it feels like a hundred pounds of Cisco press books all the time. And that's unfortunate, uh, but it's the only thing I can do. I do not like reading tech on any kind of e-reader. I'm fine with Stephen King that way, but my nonfiction has to be a traditional book. Too bad for me. All right, everyone. Well, thank you so much. Again, please consider subscribing to our channel and turning on those notifications so you don't miss an episode. On behalf of Ronnie Wong, myself, Anthony Sequera, and everyone here at IT Pro TV, thank you so much for joining us in this episode.